Hello and welcome to another InstaForex daily market analysis. Uh, for today, I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar, I'll speak about Bitcoin, dollar index, gold market, crude oil, and NASDAQ 100. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. And what we can see here is that there was uh, quite a basically test and reject of the yesterday's high. And we had a pin bar and tail. So basically, sellers are still in control. You can see here in the hourly time frame that we have a supply trend line that held pretty well and at this point we probably have just a, a regular type you know regular correction after this downside movement so in case of the further re, um, let's say rebreak of 1.0800 there'll be a chance for a further drop and uh, the downside objective uh, short term is set at 1.0765 which is basically the previous week low on the Bitcoin, we had a classic test and reject. So take a look at the weekly time frame. This is the bottom right corner here. So, and we can see here that this uh, five week consolidation, we have a quite a big uh, pin bar and uh, there was a, uh, buyers didn't have power to close above this weekly range. So this is, can be a quite a big trap for buyers that can uh, result uh, a further drop on the Bitcoin. Uh, our is pretty much, uh, we already shifted the, environment from bullish to bearish we had even this uh, consolidation break uh, we spoke about this yesterday and there was a downside breakout so still there is a chance even short midterm for the market to uh, rotate lower and eventually trade uh, towards the 61,000 uh, even 57,000 58,000 mark on the dollar index uh, market basically is holding and closed just above the a flat 20-day moving average so i see the hourly is pretty much holding rising lows weekly we have so far inside week but again based on the this week and intraday structure there is a chance for higher prices and upside objectives are set at 105.45 and 105.70 mark on the gold market what you can see here is a quite a big drop i learned about this potential for the double top on the weekly time frame and there we go quite a big rejection quite a big outside week relative to the last week and uh, we'll see probably we'll see the close around the low for this week which will be a quite a good and strong sign for the further downside moment coming into the next week and we have a 2275 276 like the like the downside objective short term look at the hourly time frame um Quite a big shift from the bull to the bear environment uh, after the break of this consolidation a very strong close and hold below our 10 20 and 50 day uh, 50 bar moving averages so uh pay attention for the further downside moment of course after the natural pullbacks and rallies and we have a crude oil so seems like market is just breaking our key support of this more like a 10 day more 14 day consolidation we even had a rejection uh, yesterday of the declining 10 and 20 day moving average. So this is a quite a big a sign and sellers are in control. There is no doubt about that. So we can see a potential drop uh, short term, even towards the 72 mark, which is for me like a quite an important pivot level. And then of course we have even 67, 75. So this area here, there is a chance for the retest of that zone. And on the Nasdaq 100, finally, this extension, the result was this quite a big aggressive sell off with the pin bar. This may be the, this can mark the end of the, this upside swing. You can see that quite a big shift in the hourly structure too. So we broke the previous lows in just a couple of hours. And it seems like this was just a natural pullback overnight. So I see potential for the further downside development. And uh, we have, Maybe even potential for the market to trade towards 20 bar moving average. It's around 18,350, 18,400 mark. And that will be all for this InstaForex daily market analysis. Uh, have a good trading day. Have a good weekend and speak to you from next week.